this is cool. How about everybody have fun learning? Okay? Yeah. Yahweh created his son. It took male and female to form and create his son. As Romans 1, 19 and 20 says, it takes mother and father to create their creation or son. Now, Yahweh is, Dr. Kidney put it, which I totally agree, is the parent mass. If you're going to have a parent, you're going to have a, a son or a daughter, okay? It's that simple. So, you got the parent, and then you got the son. And he's the only begotten son. Elohim, well, then he went out of the creating business after he did that, okay? Now, Elohim creates the rest. Now, as in the sperm and the egg create the skull, then goes out of the creating business. The rest of the body comes forth from the skull as the rest of the body comes forth, as the rest of creation came forth from the head, which is Elohim. See how simple this stuff is? Now you got astrocytes and dendrodites. And those are star-shaped cells and dendrodites are, are um, tree-shaped nerves. Now heaven and earth are in that skull, but it's still got to come forth yet. So Elohim comes forth. Uh, or Elohim, then, then the rest of the creation comes forth from that. Okay? Now, watch this one. Yahweh creates Elohim. Okay? In this state, he's all in all. Yahweh creates Elohim. Then goes out of the creating business. And then the rest of the body comes forth from the head. Okay? This is just like um, the, the, the sperm and the egg. Okay, create the head, and then for, what comes forth from the head is the rest of the body. See how simple that stuff is? Now, this creation here goes back into Elohim. Okay, and then Elohim goes back into Yahweh. Then this, in this state here, Yahweh is all in all. Not in this state over here. All in all in the cloud, all in all in the cloud. It's that simple. Now, even the book says that, okay? When it goes back into Elohim, then Elohim um, puts everything underneath his feet there, and you go back into Yahweh. There, and you got your all in all again. It's all in your book. But see, we want to change everything. We want to change it to um, Yahweh is all in all, and that's all, and that's the end of it, period. No, it doesn't work that way. And your body actually proves it. Okay? It's very simple. All, you ever examine all in all? All doesn't mean just all. See, all. Yahweh is all. No, Yahweh is all in all. Something is in all. Spirit is in all. What? Spirit in this state here is all in all the spirit. That, that little tiny spirit thing, it's, it's all, all the spirit it is. All in, the spirit is in what? The cloud. Or all in all. See? How simple it is? All in all. Really look at that statement, all in all. It isn't just all. It's all of something in all of something. Examine it. Hopefully I, I um, triggered your mind a little bit to work on that. All in all. What's the in? What's the uh, all that is in all? Cool. Okay, but this is the way he dictates the whole works, okay? And it makes sense because everything goes by it. Everything goes by it. The roots of a tree grow, 
go buy it, okay? Because you got the roots, and then you got the um, trunk, and then you got the head. One, two, three, okay? And it's very simple, very simple. Okay, bye-bye. I hope this does a couple of few things because, see, um, Satan is, is in, involved with this thing too because you got um, all kinds of um, um, plants that um, they're called weeds and these weeds are made for a purpose okay so you got the weeds too in this and the weeds grown uh, right alongside of uh, the plants and want to destroy the plants Okay, and some of the weeds, okay, I'll tell you one thing right now, some of the weeds look gorgeous. And you don't know if they're a weed or not. Okay, and you have to have a professional to determine or discern what the weed is and what the truth is. Okay, that's how subtle they can be. Okay, so it's up to us to, do, to let's say, <clears throat> go to a... Um, a nursery and ask questions or go to the person that knows and ask questions can you tell me if this is a weed or if this is a plant they should know okay now as um, people should know if something is BS or the bull like Israel had in the wilderness if it's bull or if it's the truth okay and the reason why I'm saying that is many shall come in and deceive and many shall be deceived from the deceivers and it says many not a few so you got to discern you got to look this stuff up you got to ask questions it's got to make sense it's got to go okay this is a witness this is a witness this is a witness this is a witness and it all lines up it all is the same okay that's what we have to do okay bye bye till next time